Today we are in a 1983 CJ5 and we're going to talk about how to properly set your steering up from the steering wheel to the axle out to the knuckles uh, everything because this is a common problem with uh, CJ's and any vehicle that comes in our shop um, so let me show you first what's going on so we take off down the road and it's obviously an aftermarket steering wheel but uh, as you're driving straight the steering wheel is almost straight in the Jeep it's off just a little bit right so you one would think that a small drag link adjustment center of the wheel you're done however here we are one turn one and eighth turns and you're at full lock to the left and the Jeep is not turning all the way sharp uh, as you turn to the right you would go one two it has two and a quarter turns to the right so the steering box that here I'm trying to turn back to the left I can't even get going straight again the steering box is not centered while the Jeep is going centered so while you're going down the road you want the steering box to be exactly in the middle the same amount of turns right to left and at that point you want your steering wheel perfectly centered this Jeep had just got a new steering box brace and a new steering shaft put in it and the installer who put it together left the steering wheel exactly how it was left the tire straight and just removed and replaced assuming that whoever had been working on this vehicle before them had done it right well there's the mistake never assume that somebody else in front of you has done the job right so what we're going to find out is we're going to find out that the steering wheel is not centered when the box is centered so we're going to pull it in the shop here in a minute and we're going to count the turns from right to left get the total amount divide it by two we're going to work back from one side to the center and that's the center of our steering wheel so the very first thing we need to do is determine that so we'll pull it in the shop here in a second and we'll get the steering box centered once the steering box is centered then we'll recenter the steering wheel we'll show you how to do that uh, and on this jeep it's a lot easier because it has an aftermarket steering shaft so we're going to pull this thing into the shop and uh, start from square one and move forward before we get into depth too much on this instructional video by wfo i want to add a little disclaimer so any vehicle that has an airbag or newer such as tj's do not follow this process because there's something called a clock spring in the steering column and you don't want to just loosely spin the wheel um, but if you're working on a cj uh, a YJ or even older Chevys and different vehicles that do not have clock springs and do not have airbags in the steering wheel this is the process to center your steering wheel to your steering box and start from the top and work your way down the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to determine where the center of the steering box is and see if the steering wheel is centered in order to do that we actually have to unhook everything downstream from the steering box to the axle the drag link the tie rod so what we're going to do is we're going to put we're going to pop the drag link loose so let me go get some tools we'll drop the drag link off so none of the linkage is attached anymore this cj5 happens to have a spring over on stock axles so it has a drop pitman arm spring over and then just some heavy duty steering so right down here you can see this is our nut for the pitman arm and cotter pin so in order to uh, start a process, we're going to pop that cotter pin out and we're going to drop the drag link right out of the pitman arm. So basically you pull the cotter pin out, you loosen the nut on your upper drag link end at the pitman arm. This is where everybody else has their own way of doing it. We happen to do the old hammer trick. So one smack from the side, it's tapered and it just drops right out. So now your drag link is uh, disconnected. So when we turn the steering wheel and the steering box, nothing else is going to happen. So the first thing we do is go all the way one direction. So we are all the way in one direction and the steering wheel happens to be exactly upside down, right? So this is a CJ. Most CJs have a four and a quarter turn steering box. Uh, some newer models have three and a half turns. So let's just check how this is. So one turn, two turns three turns four turns and about a quarter 
So I happen to know that. So to get to the center of the steering wheel, you would go an eighth turn back, which puts the wheel right about here. And then you go one, two. So two and an eighth is half a four and a quarter. So as you can see, the steering wheel is completely on wrong. So at this point, the steering wheel needs to be perfectly centered along with the box so that later on, when you align your drag link to get the wheel centered, the box is in the center. So now we kind of have to go backwards on the process. So there's a couple options. Some steering wheels, you can actually unbolt the steering wheel, take it off, move it, put it back on. In this case, I happen to know we have an aftermarket um, steering shaft from Borgeson that has every little notch that you can go to. So we can actually make the change uh, on the steering shaft on the steering box. So what we're gonna do is if you look inside here, we are going to, you can see right through here, the new Borgeson steering shaft, and that goes all the way down to the steering box. So we're gonna unhook the U-joint on the steering box, pop it off, spin the wheel till it's centered, and pop it back on. So we'll do that right now. So right now he has loosened the set screw that holds the Borgeson joint on, then he popped it loose. So here it is dangling right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up there in the Jeep and I'm gonna watch the steering wheel and he's gonna turn it till the wheel is perfectly centered. Then he's gonna slide it back on because we know the box is perfectly centered right now. So right now, as you can see, the steering wheel is upside down and crooked. So I turn the wheel, it's not turning the box, it's unhooked and I go right to perfectly centered. Uh, now, now you're ready to put the U-joint back on. So now he can slide the splines of that Borgeson shaft right back on. And now what we have is the steering box and the steering wheel are in complete unison. And then one other thing you wanna confirm while you're doing that because some Pitman arms are clocked differently than others when they're on the steering box. So if you sneak in there and take a look, that Pitman arm is actually pointing straight back off the steering box, which is how you want it. So now that we have the steering wheel centered when the box is centered and the Pitman arm is on and it's pointing straight back, now it's time to make the initial drag link adjustment. So it just so happens we pulled this thing in, the tires are pretty much straight. Um, so now you'll be able to see how much it was really off before. So here's our drag link. We haven't made any adjustment. We go to put it in. It's literally an inch too long, meaning this steering box was off in that direction while driving straight down the highway before. So now we need to shorten our drag link until this just slips right up in the pitman arm. And that's then from there, you go out on the highway and you make your final adjustments to get the steering wheel perfectly centered. So we're gonna have to crack loose these drag links or these uh, jam nuts, and we'll adjust the drag link till it fits right up in that hole loosely. We tighten it up, then we go do our final adjustment. Okay, so we got the steering wheel um, adjusted to the steering box. Supposedly both are centered. We haven't put the drag link on yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna count our rotations again to just confirm. So we believe this is center. Remember we had two and a quarter, or four and a quarter turns, so it's two and an eighth each way. So one turn, two turn, about an eighth inch, right? So we'll go back, one, two, not an eighth inch, an eighth turn. So we're back in the center. So one turn, two turn, same thing, about that extra eighth. So one, two, we're back to centered. Now we can hook our drag link up. So what we've done is he's adjusted the drag link a lot shorter, and look at that it just slips right in, nut goes back on with the steering box straight, the steering wheel straight, and the tires pointing straight ahead. It's not gonna be exactly perfect. We'll do the final adjustment uh, out there on the highway doing a road test, but that'll mean just uh, turning that drag link bar in and out just a little bit to get the final adjustment. So now it's time for our test drive and our final adjustment. As you can see, the wheel is centered, the big opening on the top, you can read your factory CJ automatic indicator. It's probably the second or third one I've seen ever in 20 years of working on CJs. Automatic V8, pretty cool Jeep. So 
So we'll go out here and we'll confirm that we actually have the turns each direction, but you can see I'm off approximately, oh, maybe an eighth turn, but we'll try this. So we want to be able to get at least two full turns. So one, two, and a little more. Look, the tire even rubs. And we go back to center and one, two, and a little more tire doesn't rub on that side well that's because we are just a little bit out of adjustment still so we'll go in and adjust that drag link and it'll be perfectly centered and we're gonna get the full steering both directions the other benefit is in the center of a steering box there actually is a little spot where it likes to return back to uh, helps drivability a little bit too so you always want your steering box perfectly centered while you're going straight as you can see my wheels off to the right so we're gonna actually uh, make the drag link longer again uh, to get the wheel correct so we are off to the right and I'll park and then he'll adjust it and we'll watch the steering wheel turn and we'll watch we'll watch it uh, come back to center so this is always better to do with two people so one can watch the wheel and one can adjust it but you can do it yourself too so take the steering wheel lock off so the steering wheel can move, the Jeep is parked, and then you adjust that drag link until this thing turns back to straight, you go test drive it again. So he's popping the jam nuts loose right now, there it goes, he's turning it, keep going Doobie, here it comes back, a little more, a little more, let's try that right there. Now we'll go drive it again and see if it's centered, and this process is the same on any Jeep, any vehicle, JL, JK, anything with a live axle, you adjust the drag link to center the wheel. It really has nothing to do with alignment, uh, toe, or anything like that. It's just getting the steering wheel centered so you have equal steering both directions. Second time, we've adjusted it one time. Usually it takes two or three times, but sometimes you can get it right out of the gate. You always wanna find a nice straight flat section of road to do this. I would say we went just a hair too far. And look at that. This thing turns on a dime, which it didn't, especially the left before, even to the point where the oversized tires rub. Yeah, my bad. He's not gonna be excited when I tell him he's gotta go back the other way. We went a little too long, a little too much. We're just gonna lock it down at that. So this will be the initial adjustment, the first adjustment, this is the third time. They say the third time's a charm, right? So far looks pretty good going through the parking lot. And there we are. Wheel perfectly centered, box perfectly centered, getting maximum steering both directions out of this vehicle. Hope you learned something today.